Now, the Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, has unveiled his five missions for a future Labour government, promising to restore the ambition of the country and stop what he described as the current state of sticking plaster politics. We'll just take, let's look at the key pledges that he made this morning. He says he has five missions for the UK to secure the highest economic growth in the G7, to make Britain a clean energy superpower with clean electricity by 2030, to build an NHS fit for the future. On crime, the Labour leader pledged to make the streets safe. And on education, he said he wants to break down the barriers to opportunities for children at every stage. Let's listen to a little of what he had to say earlier. Every region and nation of the UK must be heard. But we have to come together. National missions for national renewal. The fastest growing economy in the G7. A clean energy superpower. Public services that lift us up. A mission-driven government that will end sticking plaster politics. We'll unlock the pride and purpose that is in every community. We'll give this country its confidence, its hope, its future back. Now is the time for us all to be part of something bigger and to say with one voice, why not Britain? That's Sir Keir's plan for the government. Let's just compare it to the promises made by the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak. He says the Conservative government wants to halve inflation, grow the economy and reduce debt. Plus, he's promised to cut NHS waiting lists and stop migrant boat crossings the channel. Uh, let's get more from our political correspondent, Joe Pike, who joins us now from Westminster. Uh, Joe, we do uh, sometimes see these pledges being made. It isn't an official manifesto. Can we hold Keir Starmer to what he's saying today? I think we can, uh, but they're pretty long-term pledges and there isn't a huge amount of uh, detail. They're not necessarily that comparable to what Rishi Sunak is doing, because, of course, his uh, people's priorities, as he calls them, are priorities for right now, uh, this year, while in government, whereas Keir Starmer is talking about, uh, in some cases, two terms of a Labour government. And of course, he's not uh, going to be in government um, that soon. People expect an election next year, perhaps before the summer or perhaps after. So you may be looking at about 18-month wait, even if polls are correct and remain sort of uh, where they are. There wasn't, as I say, a huge amount of uh, detail here. There was what, that one significant pledge on having the highest sustained growth in the G7. It's ambitious, but it is deliverable because, of course, we know the only bit of the um, G7 forecast to shrink in 2023 is the UK. I thought, aside from uh, putting out these broad policy areas he wants to focus on, I think Mr Key was perhaps a road testing some sound bites that we're going to hear again and again and again over the coming months. He talked, I think, at least four or five times about sticking plaster politics, something people, he said, were bored of and want to end, and also spoke of having a, a mission-driven government. Clearly, this is the early steps of a, a general election campaign manifesto. And I think this is an, a, a sort of realisation on Labour's part that Keir Starmer has been the critic in chief throughout Boris Johnson and Liz Truss's brief premiership. And now he needs to really explain what he would uh, do differently. Of course, far more detail will come in the coming months on the three pledges he's not talked about, three missions he's not talked about, as well as further uh, detail, especially around the economics, because I think at this stage in the electoral cycle, not being that, not having a, a clear idea of what the economy is going to look like at the next election, Rachel Reeves, which had a chance in particular, uh, is not keen on making too significant uh, a list of uh, commitments. In terms of the attack lines from the Conservatives, well, actually, they mirror, really, a lot of the questions we heard from journalists in the Q&A after the speech, especially around issues of trust, in particular on Jeremy Corbyn, a changing position there on uh, Brexit too. This is the view of the chairman of the Conservative Party, Greg Hatz. Keir Starmer had no new policies today. He's never made a pledge that he intends to keep. He's uh, changed his mind on everything from a second EU referendum through to uh, private sector involvement in the NHS, uh, through to tuition fees. He's never made a pledge that he intends to keep. So this is the start of a drip-drip process on Labour's part, uh, dripping out uh, bits of a uh, policy. I suppose they would argue they have now got the sort of skeleton argument for uh, Keir Starmer's prospective uh, premiership. We'll have uh, the detail, the meat, in the uh, coming uh, months. 
a, a different uh, series of emphasis uh, to the Conservatives. Uh, Rishi Sunak has focused on ending the small boats, talking about immigration, whereas Keir Starmer seems to be in these five missions talking about uh, crime in its place. Not much talk from the Labour Party of immigration today, but of course, Jen, that could change in the coming weeks.